Good morning, church. Brandon back here with you for your morning devotion. I just want to pick up where Matt left off yesterday and reflecting back on uh, our Easter service and pastor's uh, encouragement to resist the devil. And Matt said one of the best ways to do that is by reading God's word. And so I want to kind of lean into John chapter 1 through 4 and, and focus on God's word. And more specifically, Jesus as the word. John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And, and so John's doing a great job here telling us that Jesus is the word of God. And if you go all the way back to Genesis, uh, when God spoke uh, the world into the existence. Jesus was with him, and Jesus was that word that participated with God in creating the world. Jesus' first miracle, as a matter of fact, is in Cana as he, as he turns water into wine. But the interesting thing about that in John chapter 2 is Jesus never touches anything. He just speaks to the people, they obey what he says, and that water becomes wine, showing that Jesus is the creator. And then later in John chapter 4, we have a Roman official who comes to Jesus who heard about that very miracle probably because it was in Cana. Jesus is coming back from Samaria where many people believed in Jesus simply because of his word. No miracles done, just his word and who he was and how he changed the life of this woman at the well in John chapter 3. And then because of his word, many people believe in who Jesus is. Now Jesus is coming back to Cana and this Roman official comes to him. His son is sick and dying and he asked Jesus to come heal him. And Jesus simply says, go, your son will be healed today. He doesn't go with him. He doesn't show him a miracle. He doesn't do anything for him. He just speaks the word and the Roman official goes home. Later finding out that at that moment, Jesus said that as he spoke the word, his son was in fact healed. So all these first four chapters of John, John is trying to show us that Jesus truly is the word of God. And I, and I think if we can reflect on that and really kind of delve into those first four chapters and study that a little bit, I think we'll realize that God really wants us, maybe during this time, to really maybe lean into His Word. Don't lean into the fear and, and all of the things that could cause us to kind of maybe turn away from God or maybe even cause us to look to things that aren't really that important. But really just look into the Word of God and trust that God has a Word for us during this time. And that Word is Jesus. And Jesus wants us to spend time with Him and fall in love with Him and trust Him during this time. Church, I love you. Can't wait to see you again when we all get to gather and worship together. Uh, just continue to spend time with your family and friends. Continue to pray for those guys who are having to go to work every day during this time. For those of you who are not being able to work like me or like some of the other uh, workers, man, just lean into God's word and be praying for those who are out there uh, on the front lines for us. Thanks, church. We'll see you again soon.